So this week has um, has been the sad passing of Roger Greenwood. Uh, Roger Greenwood was um, was the guy who made Paul Sykes at large back in um, 1988, 89, and it was it was first aired December the sixth, 1990. Roger Greenwood. Uh, so he made that documentary with his colleague Nick Lord. Um, so Roger sadly passed this week with cancer, mid seventies, I think he was. Um, I first went to meet Roger. Um, so when I decided I was going to do the books, um, two thousand and fifteen. Uh, obviously, he was the one of the first port of calls, and I went to meet him in um, the very same hotel that he used to meet Sykes. So Roger was from Otley um, and he would meet Sykes, obviously Sykes was from Wakefield and they would meet in Harrogate which was um, probably the poshest hotel in Harrogate, it was called the Majestic, many of you might know it and um, yeah, the I mean Roger told me all sorts, you know, one story was uh, Sykes actually assaulted him in the mid 80s, I think he went to see him in prison not in prison it was, about 85 and because he wouldn't smuggle cannabis in, uh, hit him in the stomach. But um, Roger, Roger kind of gets the limelight, if you like, for kind of, I suppose, discovering Sykes because he made the documentary. But it was an actual, in actual fact, it was a guy called um, Fred Dynage. So Fred Dynage was one of the, the uh, he written a book on the Cray Twins or Reggie Cray, I can't remember. Um... He's done many, many documentaries. Um, for people who've watched Paul Sykes at large, so he's a guy interviewing Sykes in 78. He's, he's the guy who stood there when Sykes is saying, you know, what next? And he's like 750 beds like Joe Bug Bugner. So that was Fred, that was Fred Dynage. And um, after probably about seven years of kind of interaction with Sykes when he was in and out of prison for all them years, Fred kind of, um, obviously you could imagine he got a bit too much and uh, he, he handed Sykes over to uh, Roger Greenwood who was working for ITV then, not ITV, I think it was Yorkshire Television then and uh, he said look you've got to meet this guy, you know, he's, uh, he's going to be a hell of a documentary one day and you know he basically just handed over um, you know, passed on the troubles, if you like, he just got a bit too much for him. And, um, yeah, it's sad that Roger's um, passed, because he uh, he told me, so there was something like, uh, let me think, let me get this right, 20 to 30 hours footage of Sykes, which um, they never used, and it was left on... Um, you know, just buried in the archive somewhere. But Roger did did have footage in his home. And he said to me, I'm not going to let you have it. But he said, if you come to my home um, in Otley, West Yorkshire. I think it's on, maybe That might be North Yorkshire. He said, if you come to my home, I'll let you watch it. But uh, it's not for anywhere. It's not for anyone. Um, and that was that. He told me, he told me uh, in detail what the footage was. Um, and uh, yeah, meeting Roger that day, uh, so I met him with um, with his colleague Nick Lord and uh, Paul's sister, Paul's only sibling, come along with me. Um, obviously, you could imagine they had a lot to talk about and I suppose reminisce. Um, his Paul's sister actually is on that documentary. You know when the that kind of wedding of the year, if you like, she's kind of briefly seen on that. Um, and Roger told me a lot of stories that day. You know, he's uh, he was the one who said to me that they had they had in fact because it was such a massive success the documentary. You know, I mean, obviously years later people have seen it on YouTube and all the millions of views and some guy talked about punching sharks, but it was um, it was so hard hitting for its time. You know, when it was aired in December nineteen ninety. And um, 
Roger did tell me, he said I did go looking for for Paul many years later to do like um uh you know like a follow up Paul Sykes at large too. But he said to me he said to me he was just too far gone, you know, living on a street spa then and um in actual fact Roger did tell me that they were gonna do something on um Dennis Flint. You know, it's very sad that the only footage of Dennis Flint is I think it's maybe three and a half minutes on that documentary. And um yeah that you know that is uh that would have been one hell of a <laughs> a real life kinda comedy, wouldn't it? He's almost like a comedy sketch, Dennis Flint, but he was a real character. Um but yeah, Roger Roger was the guy who told me all kinds of stories and you know, he, Sykes actually even even hit the cameraman. Uh, a guy called Mustafa and uh Paul Sykes branded him Mustafa Camera, that was his name. Um Yeah, Roger told me that, you know, no matter wherever he went in life, in his career and what he did, um he said there was you know Ro Robbie Williams met him and he uh Robbie Williams just said you know, this sounds really bizarre, but Robbie Williams actually said to him that some of the best nights he's ever had was sat watching Paul Sykes at large eating crisp sandwiches. That's what Roger told me. Um, Roger still had Holly, Holly, um, the even the brochures for like the Lups at Boys Club. You know the the night they did, um, and the Lups at Workmen's Club. He told me like Ricky Gervais went up to Roger and was kind of almost not a little bit starstruck, but just was like wanting to talk to him about that documentary he'd made. Um, so that that's how I kind of knew, you know, they were they were interested in it. Um, I've messaged him afterwards, and you know, uh, I spoke to Ricky Gervais on Twitter years ago, and he kind of confirmed what Roger Greenwood told me. But um, yeah, very very sad, and I think probably the chances of probably seeing that footage is. Um, has probably gone with Roger. I don't know. I know he does have um, three sons, so obviously when the when the, um, the film happens and that and the documentary, then but money talks, doesn't it? So we shall see. But um, yeah, R.I.P. Roger Greenwood, maker of that truly unforgettable, iconic, unique, uh, just a total one-off documentary wasn't it Paul Sykes at large